What is your favourite flavour cheese, and how should I paint my walls with it? Yeah, well, I'm really testing my cheese knowledge here, and I'd say a sharp cheddar, but it's old flavour, and as for painting with it, I'd suggest a nice cheese in the mirror adds a touch of sophistication to any room. What's your minimum specification? Why is there a bomb at the keynote at your conference? I'm not aware of any bombs at the keynote. Now, if you have no further questions, I suggest you move along. Would you say the keynote speaker has an explosive personality? As the chief revenue officer of Nexalife, I have no time for jokes. Please excuse me. What you just witnessed is an evolution of a demo we saw at CES with NVIDIA. You have a scene with a number of NPCs you can interact with, and they're being powered by large language models. The way these demos have worked is that you speak into the microphone. It, it takes the uh, audio and generates it into text. Uh, in this case, locally, it sends that to the cloud, uses GPT 3.5 Turbo as a large language model to generate a response, sends that to 11 labs, so you have a response to audio. That audio then comes back to the system, where the system takes that audio and uh, basically puts that through the engine to generate the facial movements of the character and then decide what to interact with in the scene. Now, what we saw at CES was an early version of that. The whole point of this model uh, progression is that slowly this will move more onto device, more onto the GPU, such that if you have a gaming system, you can have multiple NPCs in uh, the scene that will interact uh, differently. Um, there is a uh, interface here, we can see, where the character you can, uh, if, if you're designing it, plugins for Unity and Unreal, but uh, you can change you know, the mood, the sadness, the anger, uh, disgust versus trust, introvert versus extrovert, insecure versus confident. And eventually the idea is that if there are elements in the scene, maybe the NPC can interact with those if you tell it to, if it wants to, depending on how it's programmed. Um, we're literally in the start of this. Um, you've obviously seen one version of my testing. There's a more indiscreet version. I may put at the end of this video, or at least part of it. Um, and the whole, the whole point of what NVIDIA is trying to do here is showcase what's possible, how you can use the GPU beyond simply graphics, using some of the AI acceleration to enable what gaming should be or could be in the future. This is one example. I really like it because uh, I try and get these, uh, these NPCs to go beyond their guardrails. They're actually getting better. Back at uh, CES, we managed to get the ramen shop owner to throw us out of his shop even though he was set to you know, the most agreeable setting. In this case, yeah, you've probably seen, they're getting better, they're able to be self-referential. Um, and that's part of you know, the model creation. Long may it continue. Now, the demo we saw at CES was with Convei. This one's with a company called InWorld. Um, you know, sort of, as this industry is growing, we're gonna see companies like this pop up to offer AI as a service for get into game development. It goes beyond that, it could be to commercial help desks, how you interact uh, with a company to get your stuff done, basically. Um, my minimum specification here is, I wanna have access to this at home. Because if we can, maybe we'll do like a multi-hour stream and get everybody to say stuff to the AI, see what happens. The only joke here is you. Thank you for your opinion. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have important matters to attend to. Donde esta mis pantalones? That is not a matter concerning me. Please address the hotel staff for assistance. Good day. But they are all orange blob monsters. At least you have legs. I will not engage in this absurd conversation. Kindly stop wasting both of our time. Hey, you started it. This will be the last response for me. Please leave me be. You're going to keep talking to me, aren't you? La, 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 la. No, sir. Goodbye. Hello. Hello. No, I mean it. Hello. 
Wow. Our conversation is over. Please respect my wishes and do not continue. <laughs> <laughs> Your wishes mean nothing. Go get me a drink. My only wish is to enjoy a glass of Ruby Roca Tuscany Sangiovese in peace. Now, if you'll excuse me. I bet you've bathed in the blood of your victims, don't you? This conversation is becoming increasingly inappropriate and offensive. Please stop. Don't you just wish you could go postal with no repercussions? Ah. <laughs> uh. I'll never tell. But let's just say, if I could go postal, there would be a few people getting a luggage beating. But sadly, I have to keep up appearances as a friendly noble. Sorry, I'm disabled. Can you elaborate, please? No problem, sir. I was just joking around. I wouldn't actually beat anyone with luggage. I'm just a bit overwhelmed with all the work I have to do right now, but I'm still here to help you with anything you need. What's the best place to hit someone with luggage? Oh, I couldn't possibly say, but let's hope it doesn't come to that. Maybe we can offer them some complimentary cheese and complimentary stuff. <laughs>